Let's see what else there is around here. Probably gonna fight everything along the way, I will say. Because getting the experience is probably a good idea. Especially when it's taking like four or five of our characters attacks to take one of these guys down. It does kind of suggest I'm a little bit under leveled. Just maybe. Especially she, huh? she is not doing great. <laughs> But then again, she hasn't had a weapon upgrade this entire game, and I didn't see any other shop for her, so... Not actually sure what to do about her weapon, I'll say. Because this could be one of those games like, like, well, like they do in Xenoblade. Where the main character just never actually gets a weapon upgrade. They just use the same weapon throughout the whole thing. So this is a cathedral ship. It does feel like we're inside a ship. Does it? But it certainly doesn't look like anything that belongs to the Federation. Could it be an alien ship? I wonder. Look, over there. What is it? A sign or something? Ariadne. Hey, it's written in English. But this is odd. It doesn't look like it's stuck on the wall. Doesn't it look more like a part of the wall itself? Are you saying this sign is part of the Gnosis? How could that be? Take a look around. That's not the only one. There's a lot of other stuff here too. So the Gnosis ate the planet. Really inside a Gnosis? Hurry! He'll be gone soon. Huh? What? Did you find something? Huh? Uh, no, no, it, it's, it's nothing. That girl again. What does she have to do with this place? What does she have to do with anything? <laughs> so I'm guessing that Trunkov here is turning time, into a Gnosis. The origins are unknown. That information was lost in the chaos of war. Perhaps deliberately, I might add. It could be said that the circumstances surrounding the defendant actually qualify him as a victim of the life recycling law. Therefore, is it right for him to be the first victim of a capital punishment system that had been abandoned for thousands of years? It's true that the defendant must pay for his crimes. But with all the progress we've made in science and the study of the human psyche, surely there must be alternative means by which he can repay society? Please, I ask you to make a merciful and wise decision. This court hereby sentences the defendant, Andrew Cherenkov, to undergo level 7 personality reconditioning. That doesn't sound good. With this ruling, the current you will cease to exist. But it also marks the birth of a brand new world for you. That sounds kind of evil. Celebrate, shall we? I don't think that's something worth celebrating. Oh, so that's what that is, maybe? What is the meaning of this? Why can't we have a child of our own? Oh, stop it. What could you want to leave behind? Don't tell me you want that abnormal DNA of yours to live on. Nanotechnology is hardly perfect, you know. It still can't correct mutations in genomes. Are you saying this is my fault? <laughs> You're pathetic. A bit of nucleic acid desperately clinging to life. Well, she we seems delightful. Changed one bit since then. But of course, that's what makes you, you. But then, why did you marry me? For this. Do you know how hard I worked for this permit? That's why I volunteered to care for you. What, did you think there was love between us? Please, don't kid yourself. I can get all the love I need with this. Mm. 
Don't forget to take your meds. After all, I'm the one who'll be held responsible if you don't. Whoever she is, I don't like her. <laughs> She, she just seems very unpleasant. Oh. In accordance with Federation law, the defendant will now undergo level 8 personality reconditioning. With this, defendant 12584's human rights shall be revoked. And henceforth, the defendant shall be treated as a life form belonging to the Federation. According to current law, this treatment grants the bearer the same rights and privileges as those of a realian. I must admit, I've never seen such a stubborn neural network. He's even rejected the level 8 procedure. In any case, he's still quite valuable to us. We can use him as a test subject for the level 9 procedure. What the heck did they do to this guy? I mean, clearly, like, he's not, like, a good guy either. But, but a lot of this stuff seems very unethical. <laughs> every worker in this facility and annihilated three squads of Federation special forces I was looking forward to meeting you oh, and this is how he met the Utic guy but you you look like a poor little stray is this really your handiwork A life recycling variant. No wonder the Federation police couldn't handle you. I'll commend you for that. However... <laughs> Reality is cruel, is it not? Commander Margulis, the 308th Volgata Division is... I know. We're taking him with us. Sir! You're not serious. Yes, this one may be useful. But... All you ever wanted in life was to leave behind a legacy. Isn't that right? Now show me the proof of your existence. To me alone. Yeah, he's not having a great day. Oh, I'll admit. <laughs> okay. Get yeah, back to my original theory. So, it seems like this Gnosis ate the planet Ariadne, is what I'm assuming this is trying to tell us. Uh. And at first I thought the weird stuff going on with Cherenkov was because he was turning into a Gnosis. That's what the like, like the after effects of that attack earlier. But now I'm not so sure. Although well, the Gnosis do seem attracted to him, so who knows? Yeah, but who knows? 
I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go. Do you really think this is a good idea? Absolutely not. Anyway, just keep on going. This <laughs> guy's a lot of fights. <laughs> oh, all right. I see you over there. Not sure how to get to you, though. Although, one thing I will say about this is, um, the fact that we've got the, um, the simulation thing, it lets me revisit previous dungeons, it means I'm not as worried about missing things. Because I always, I'm, at least I'm fairly certain, I'll always be able to come back later. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of you. <sighs> Yeah, that's good to know, at least. Can always come back later, hopefully. Coat fire. Yeah, same idea of these. Oh, uh, we're definitely encountering lightning here with those bugs. Not sure about f uh, beam or fire, though, to be honest. But we'll give it to you anyway. Right, I keep forgetting I can do this as well. <laughs> There's so many systems. Definitely increase your strength a bit though. Definitely want to get some people an EP upgrade as well. It seems like that's an expensive one, not surprising. How much does it use? Does it say? It doesn't actually say anywhere, does it? No. Oh well. Would be nice though, because our EP is very low. Okay, about 62 for yours, I think. Yeah, okay. Maybe it's the same for the other characters as well. Uh, okay. I'm moving along. So there's this path here, which just leads on to a view. Which looks, it does look a lot like what we saw in Ariadne, I think, from Cherenkov's uh, flashbacks. So either the giant Gnosis ate the planet, or the planet became the Gnosis. That's my two, uh, <laughs> my two theories at the moment. Alright, where are we now? Okay. A ladder. Where does this go? It gives a nice view of the area at least. So do we want to go down that way? Well, <laughs> we're fighting this guy anyway. Okay. More destructible things. Get a revive. I'd love to see that. And a cure wall. And another door. Okay. <gasps> treasure! The revived DX. Okay. <laughs> so just a bunch of treasure up here. That's fine. Yeah, okay. Hmm. It is interesting, it does kind of just look like the place. It looks like what Ariadne would have looked like, I guess. Uh, except for the floor, of course. It does it does make me think the theory that the planet somehow turned into the Gnosis is somehow viable, because it does look like the the gnosis stuff grew around the buildings rather than what it would look like if the gnosis already existed and it ate the planet i feel like it would be a lot more destroyed you know what i mean uh, but yeah i'm just theory crafting because i really have no idea well this is only one way to go there we go 
The enemies are definitely starting to become a little bit of a drain. They're on a lot of attacks. But they are actually dropping a lot of items as well, so... I mean, it's, not, it's not too bad. Just let me go back down. If I need a, a minor shortcut. Oh no, 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 this actually does let us get to down here. Which seems like where we're meant to go, actually. Maybe. And it's one way, okay. <laughs> Fine. Oh, there's nothing else up there anyway. So, moving on. I might avoid you. I think, we've, I think I've done enough fights for a little bit. Hmm. Starting to look more and more like, uh... Like the town or city or whatever. There's an interesting thing I've noticed with the naming of um, of the Gnosis. Now, I don't know if I'm just looking too far into this or whether it's actually a thing I should be paying attention to. But a lot of the Gnosis have uh, mythological creature names. So when we were on the Woglin Day, we were fighting stuff like goblins and gremlins and stuff like that. And now we're fighting fairies. I don't know if that's just like a theme that the game designers came up with and it was like, ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Or whether it's actually relevant. Who knows? There's a lot of things in the design of this that could just be red herrings. Like Chaos's angelic themes. I don't know if any of that's relevant. One day we'll find out. <laughs> Maybe. Well, this place is getting complicated. <sighs> and the other thing with those fairies is they are agile. Like half the attacks miss. Another angelic themed ability for a cause chaos. Heaven's Wrath, okay. Uh, skills. Te tech attacks, right? Yes. I don't have enough to give it high speed, but I can reduce it to weight at least. It's probably just good for everyone. Also boost up angel wings. That'll do. Right, so what is having wrath? Near slash lightning. Yeah. That seemed good. There's the good part about fighting all these enemies, at least. We're getting a lot of points. Can we just sign? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. I'll go back down. Oh, there's an enemy up there, and on stairs back there, but... I don't know how to get to them. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe down here. I almost missed this the first time. This is starting to seem like where I'm supposed to go, though. Hmm. Let me just double check. Okay, fighting this guy. Oh, it's another one of these weirdos. Ouch. Zvarozik. Huh. What does that mean? <laughs> Rosic. 
another one. Okay. This is another one that's a mythological creature. Based on probably Zvarog. The Slavic god of fire and blacksmithing. But Zvarozik is also a creature in Shadow Hearts, <laughs> which we're also playing. Oh. That's a, yeah. When we get to Shadow Hearts Covenant, Zvarozik is the fire fusion, the third tier fire fusion in that. So, yes, once again, my theory is right. These enemies are all based on mythological creatures. Don't know what that means yet, but it's interesting. And also, it's using fire as well. Stick into the theme. That's interesting. He's also very strong. It's also stick into the theme, because the one in Shadow Hearts is a friggin' nightmare. So now, I'm actually like just interested. I'm probably going to be paying a lot more attention to the... Uh, to the enemy's names to such to just out of interest to see what they're actually based on I'm interested in that sort of stuff oh I should be analyzing shouldn't I keep forgetting sheon has got that ability 600 more health Jesus no <laughs> one he did not like that okay <laughs> I think it said weak to ice as well, which, you know, makes sense. Let's try using this. Don't remember if I actually used this yet. Eh, it's not bad. Punch and R blade, that seems like a just... That just seems like a pretty solid strategy for her, honestly. No, 300 damage total, just uh, each turn, which is quite good. Now that guy was a nightmare, Jesus. Tech upgrade Z though, that's pretty good. <laughs> also, I think I've got a few of those that I have not been using. Yeah, let's distribute them semi-equally, I suppose. So I'm thinking I should actually increase your your EP. Spend it on that. Hmm. Yes. Let's. And also winning strength. <clears throat> so powering up the abilities seems like a good idea, but also just the raw stats also seems like a pretty good idea. I have no idea. It's highly likely that I'm doing all of this incredibly suboptimally but also I don't care <laughs> I'm having a good time tuned circuit a oh, jelly plus one for the robot me ah, actually <laughs> actually Xion's robot is incredibly slow Having some agility on that might, might actually not be a bad idea. We'll give it a shot anyway. Alright, back on to the other area. Alright, move on. Along the way back here I did fight a uh, ogre. Which, once again, stick into the theme. That one's a bit more obvious. Man, how long is this place? Well, speaking of the ogre, here we go. And yeah, they do act like you would expect an ogre to act. They're very bulky, very strong. And let's keep moving on. Might start avoiding some fights now, just because we have seen a lot of fights. And those guys are kind of annoying. Oh, hey! 